Hey folks, Father Sampati from Sajib Virus here. Today we are going to create a very simple edge map shader uh, by which you can uh, create your edge map. You can bake your edge map in cycle and you can use it with, uh, you know, for texturing, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So let's see. Alright, let's get started with the material setup here. So first change the, uh, the render engine to cycle and let's get started with this fresh setup here. Okay, so let's create a new material. I'm going to name it mask or H. Yep. And what we need to do is basically change it to cycle. And let's create a um, bevel node. Let's create a um, geometry node. Create a vector math node. Connect this to here and the geometry normal to here. Go for a um, dot product, S see it here, and let's go for invert. Here we go. Now you're seeing your edges. Alright, so let's see the preparation how you should prepare it. So your object should be shaded smooth. If we now go here, you can see there is no shader uh, you know, edges here. So, what you should do is basically, quite obviously, you need to create some hard edges to define the edge, right? So, what you can do is basically you can go for auto smooth and it will create this auto smooth for you. Also, you can create custom split like all 10 and average custom, etc. etc but for this guy auto smooth is all right so let's go somewhere here okay you can see it here so what does this bevel uh, not do is basically you know um it finds out the sharp edges and then blur the sharp edges with the uh, adjacent values so that's how we will get this blurry edge okay so if we go here suppose this is now these are the also sharp edges but um, these are less angle than this one this is the 90 uh, degree angle and these are something like 45 degree angle so yeah so that's how uh, you need to uh, define your sharp edges here and then you can just also use custom split as well so yeah basic things so let's see it here so the sample uh, sample should be 10 and the radius 0 0.05 is a very good number so we're going to stick with it now yeah so that is it so let's create just a simple group under g and i'm just going to give it a radius and i'm going to give it a normal nothing else needed so here we go so i'm going to name it h h mask here we go that's it all right so let's see this one yeah we can go to h mask and we can see it here there we go We can enable visible, uh, you know, increase, decrease the uh, width, the radius width here. So I'm just going for 0 0.05. Now you can see that there is a problem that it is a joint object. That means a single object. That's why you're seeing these things as well. So quite obviously, what you can do is basically go for this and P by loose part and then you will get this okay there will be no trace single object power object okay but if you if you want to use them you can just quite obviously just join them together okay and it will be there all right uh and let's see this one so this one is pretty much interesting because it has a normal map okay 
So if we unplug this normal, you will see it here. So what we can do here is basically we can create um, edge mask. There we go. Let's see it here. And you can see it is not using our normal maps. It is using the basic low poly we have. So to derive it, just uh, you know plug this normal with normal map which has been connected here so we're just going to connect it with this guy as well so now we're getting our normal map as well so that's how you can just go for it okay so um why we are not using this guy geometry and this pointiness stuff why we're not using it because these things are actually targeted for low poly models okay so these are all low poly models okay you can see everything is low poly and pointiness doesn't support um, low poly very good you know in a very good manner so that's why we are not using it also pointiness doesn't support normal map so that is also another problem that's why we are not going to use pointiness for low poly here as well so yeah so uh, that is it okay the um, uh, download I, I will uh, attach a download link for it and you can download it from there as well so let's see the baking how we should bake it okay all right so for baking we are going to use an image texture yeah new I'm going to name it edge mask something like that mask 2 or something and I'm going to give it uh, 2k 22 uncheck alpha and uh, we're going to use 32 bit, bit float here because uh, there are some bendings and lots of informations so yeah use 32 bit for this guy and uh, let's go for okay and n and should be you can use either use linear or either uh, you can use color non-color data as well so I'm going to use non-color here and let's go to image texture and uh, edge mask 2 okay so now what we can do is basically select <coughs> everything here <coughs> and uh, select one object as an active oh by the way I'm uh, using it uh, I'm I'm just uh, separating all of this object here okay there we go. and now let's bake it select it go to bake type image and bake it so the bake is ready and uh, here it is okay so I just want to save it here so let's go to image save as and go for I'm going for open EXR here okay and let's use a float full uh, RGB will be fine all right why we're using this kind of huge file because we're using it just temporarily for you know very rich kind of stuff so EXR is much more better for you know 32 bit float images and uh, it has lots of bending issues uh, quite obviously it's a edge map so it will have lots of bending issues so we don't need any kind of compression here so that's why we are going to use EXR as well so just save it here there we go okay and that's it so let's see a demo now uh, let's go to EV and here is our edge mask so if we go for um, mix note we can use it as a factor and let's use the base color here let's go here I'm going for a metallic and let's use uh, some kind of black and some kind of white here yeah, somewhere so how can we use it is basically we can go for that's why we are using EXR because we're going to manipulate it a lot so use EXR for these guys because we need 32 bit uh, setup here so I'm just going for a multiply now we can increase it decrease it whatever you need to do and we can also use some kind of uh, I don't know uh, let's use a ramp there you go Got a ramp and now we can 
use it like that okay some like this so yeah let's use it should be white hmm, should be black so let me show you some uh, full demo so here's uh, what you can do with edge mask okay so you can see these edge masks here you can manipulate it like that and uh, we're also using these values here so you can see it here by the way a tutorial is coming uh, very soon um, uh, it is an uh, WIP so we will discuss lots about uh, lots of uh, things about texture painting workflow so you can expect it very soon so stay tuned if you want to so yeah now that's how you can create your edge mask and stuff like that so yeah all right so that is it thanks i'm father simply from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye